Well, hello, my friend. Welcome to my channel. Today, as promised, I've got that Banggood Plate DXE10 swatches. Um, there was a lot of interest. So today, I'll be using the Pure White from Queen and my Conad Stamper and my Beauty Big Bang Scraper. I'll also be using that Blackjack from Queen. I'll be using my little nail wheel and all my little, you know, nail swatchy things. So... Here, let's get going. I was overall really impressed with this plate. You know, I'd used it that one time on the one manicure, and I really did like it. So I was looking forward to doing this one. So far, so good. And I'm just going to plop on across the bottom using the white, and then we'll go to the top row and use the black stamping polish for that one. I really like this image, this some of them are closed hearts and some of them are open. I think that's really cute. Really nice. There we go. And I think this, yeah, this was the image that I actually used in my manicure before. And I really did like that one. Kind of like bubbles. All tangled up bubbles. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting a little sloppy. Excuse me. It happens sometimes. I get to play in and it just, I'm telling you, I get messy. And here we go with this. And this is like a little flower image. It's really kind of, at first, <laughs> I was trying to figure out, well, what is that? It's a flower. There we go. I'm trying to get that straightened out on the nail wheel. It's looking a little crazy. And I am going to take some cleaner after this um, next image. Just to make sure that, you know, I get a good good pickup and everything. And this was an unusual. I don't even know what this really is. Bubbles, seeds, stones. I, I don't know. Just abstract looking. But I do like it because it still leaves a lot of open space for your uh, base color to shine through. And now on to the top row and the black stamping polish. Oh, I fibbed earlier. I'm not using my other nail thingies. I'm just using just that little nail wheel today. Oops. And I really like this image too. Of course, it covers up a lot of the base color. But depending on what you're doing, what you got going on, that might be what you're wanting to do. I can tell you that this plate is, uh, this plate, this plate is etched. <laughs> I'm combining words now. It's etched pretty well, and um, it you can you can just scrape away at it. You don't you don't have to be real careful with it. You can just scrape, scrape, scrape. Um, some of the images are you know like the thicker images. They hold a little bit more paint. I think that gives you a little more time to you know do your scraping and your pickup, and then your actual stamping it onto the nail, which is a good thing for people that work slower or um, beginners. Now this, <laughs> love it. Can't go wrong with some gold and black. That's just awesome. But there was a lot of interest in this plate and so that is why I decided to go ahead and swatch it out for you. Um, I will try to remember to link down below for this uh, this plate from Banggood. I don't I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember if I left it in the last video. So I will for sure try to make sure to give you a link because I don't want to be teasing you with this. <clears throat> and this one on the plate, I was like, eh, it's whatever, you know. But watch when you put it on the nail. It's a really neat image. I'm going to flip it over upside down. But it's kind of like shattered shards. Like something exploded. I like it. I really do like it. So here are all of the images. They swatched out really nice. No issues with any of them. And I hope you enjoyed seeing these swatches. If you like videos like this, you know, let me know down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And leave me a comment because I always love chatting with you. I have a little swatch photo. looks much like what you just was looking at. But I always like to take photos anyway. 
Thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself.